Ladies, that we are gathered us to commensurate with the family of the world God and to be our devoted brother. Farewell. Grant us grace to hear your word and take up in sounds that life here on earth is but temporal. So that as we take decision, we will make the right decision that will land us at your feet. We are we shall enjoy eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Yeah. You are welcome to Savannah's Church. I welcome every one of us. And as well, I appreciate my archdeacon and the parish priest who has asked me to address us this morning. May the Lord bless you and your ministry in the name of Jesus. Quickly, let's turn our Bible to Deuteronomy chapter 30. Deuteronomy chapter 30. We'll pick it from verse 1. Down, the it is ended in verse 20. Or well, let us run it through and see where we can get to. And it came to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the cause which I have set before thee, and which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. And thou shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and thou shalt obey his voice according to all that I commanded thee this day. Thou and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from the nations where the Lord thy God has scattered thee. If any of thy have been driven out unto the utmost part of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee and he will fetch thee. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land that thy father possessed, and thou shalt possess it. And he shall, and he will do thee good, and multiply thee above thy fathers. Then talk with me, you can read what I was talking with me from verse 14. But the word is very nigh unto thee, in thy mouth and in thy heart. And thou mayest do it. See, I have set before thee this day life and good, death and evil. In that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, walk in his ways, and keep his commandment, and his statutes and his judgment. That thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess. But if thy heart turn away, so that thou wilt not hear, but thou shalt be drowned away, and worship other gods, and serve them. I denounce unto you this day, that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whither thou passest over Judah to go and possess it. I call heaven and earth to recall. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I title this message this morning, A Call to Decision. A Call to Decision. Here in the passage we read this morning, Yes, life is very, very important. And in the midst of life, the Bible says we are in death. And the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse 27, 
made clear to us, he said that it is appointed unto man to die. But the dead God is talking about denominator for every human being. Hallelujah. That is not the one he's saying he choose now because this one is a common end for every man. Just like it has happened to our brother here. It's a common end. It's a destiny that was for the rich and the poor together according to Ecclesiastes. So, here, the children of Israel, we are so precious to God. See what I have said there. Leaves when you get into the land, your heart will turn away. You forget God. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, the Bible tells us that in the beginning, God has an intention and purpose of being to created man. And he said that man should be fruitful and multiply. Man should subdue the earth. There was, there was a condition given to man. And man should have dominion over the powers of the sea and the earth, and over all the living things that we work upon the earth. Now, why did God have to give man this condition? Why did God have to command the children of Israel so that they will be successful? We are the image of God, created in sight of to replicate and represent God.
Are you watchful? Are you prayerful? What is that thing that you are passing through that has made you to turn away your eye from the living God? The Bible says that the gift of God is eternal life. That is what God is giving to everyone. And that is what he wants you to choose. He said, in, 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 in the church or not, he said, anyone that believes in him should not do what? Perish. But have what? Eternal life. He's coming. Children of God, therefore, in view of the judgment, in view of the eternal punishment, in view of what was that will lead you to sin, that will lead you to sickness, that will lead you to failure. Most of us are failing every day, being disappointed, even when we are going to succeed. We are disappointed because of the kind of life we have. A lot of the day, or the best of making the work at the energy, you are even thinking uh, the worst and more of your own pain. Then, demonic attack here and there, when you are on the other side, but when you are in God, there is eternal security. When you are on the other side, there is no joy, no peace. Jesus said, I have come that they might have peace. See, the peace of my Father I give to you. You cannot have peace outside of Christ. You cannot have joy outside of Christ. Those things that you are thinking they are giving you joy is temporal. They are passing away. Eternal death. Unwind it every day. Then, that time, now that you are alive, for tomorrow, you may not see it. You may not know what will happen tomorrow. Now that you are alive, take the right decision. I put a word on you. See, God gave you.
they have been reading the scriptures, but we want the scripture to be read again and again in your family, not just in English, but in your local language. And that is why today we are presenting to you the Cal Bible to you on behalf of the church. Thank you. Thank you. So, when we are through with the service, we will almost pray to Umunofo, where we are having the interment. We go on the convoy. Please do help us go so that we will get there on time and come back on time. For those of us who still be coming to the pastor, especially the clergy. And may God bless you in Jesus' name. We will rise up and to take the commendation service. Father, by your mighty power, you gave us life. And in your law, you have given us new life in Jesus Christ. We now trust God who is immortal back to your possible kingdom. And the faith of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who died and rose again to save us and is now alive and raised with you and the Holy Spirit in glory forever and ever. Amen. Our process now here is on the seventh. God will be with you to forgive.
a phrase Who would serve a father like you? Oh, to learn it when to ask you are Why won't I jump and say We are in debt of whom may we seek for succor But of you, O oh Lord, who for our sin are justly displeased You, O oh Lord, most holy, O oh Lord, most mighty O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not in the bitter pains of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our heart. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayers, but spare us, Lord, most God, and my spirit rejoices. You shall show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy. When we want to lower the casket, you take the hymn on page 7, Abide with me, pass for that evil time. Let's come and lower the casket. Come and lower the casket.
have seen the salvation which is prepared in the sight of every people, the light to reveal your to the nation and the glory of your people. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, ever shall be, forever. Amen. To the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, may he equip you with everything good. That you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for coming and God bless you. Bless you, sir. Michael. Maybe not the time you have to visit Tegu. Oh, God is in the name. So, 
Jesus Christ Praise the Lord
Ah, please. We are going to put up with one minute. I work a good one.
He was a product of a federal polytechnic Oko. So I know very well that uh, with that Oko character in you, uh, you can do something. But we don't uh, do anyhow on the floor. So we uh, they respect us for that. So I want you and your wife to come to the stage. Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Nelson to be you. I'm not 
May your days be long. Thank you so much for that wonderful display. Thank you. God bless you. Um, on your guru kitano, when I know, Oka Maka, Oka Maka, Oboro Pukwen. There's a special uh, number first. But before that, I want to recognize the presence of uh, Up Jesus Bible Church, Ekwama. Uh, Up Jesus Bible Church, you are welcome. Because I know they are here for our brother, Mr. Chukudi, and the wife. Uh, first of all, for the people, uh, listen. Uka Maka. Many, 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 many blessings. Many, 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 many photos. Thank <laughs> you. 
Association as we are playing now, they can dance with uh, Mr. Chukodi. Then, then now, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Happy Cheta Oyibo to dance now. Then as we dance, I will give you the time. Oborobugwe, please. Oborobugwe, please listen to me. I'm not 